My dark and lovely souls, my name is Lenny Graves, and I'm a tarot card reader, I'm an astrologer, I'm a psychic medium, think about like and subscribe, and if you don't mind, I've got my trusty Rider Waite tarot card deck, and I want to do just one more talkie reading today, and this is my last day of being a mountain man mystic, meditating, looking all scruffy and stuff like that, we're going to get the eyeliner and nail polish back and stuff, but we've been doing some, my own hermit journey, but really quick, I am going to pull this card like this. Three of Swords. That's funny because I've been dealing with my own heartbreak of late, my dark and lovely souls. Then I have the Eight of Pentacles, and then I have the Ten of Wands. And isn't that a fun message? And this is a good message for me. This is a good message for you. If you're dealing with heartache, do you know the best way to process heartache? Just don't be in it. You know the Spartans didn't have a word for depression? Do you know why? Because they were Spartans. They were too busy lifting weights and killing people all the time. Get. I'm not saying go do that. Maybe lift weights, but don't go with an axe or anything like that. But... The Spartans didn't have the concept of not being like they would they would get in their body if they were too much in their head. Does that make sense? If you're dealing with heartbreak, my dark and lovely soul, and this is more just like a piece of wisdom than a tarot card reading really, is work on other aspects of your life. If someone has hurt your heart, work on your business. If someone has devastated your soul, build up your body. Take what it's not, take what works for you in a time when it's not working for you, but get out of your head, right? I get the sense that a lot of us out there are in our heads and we don't need to be in our heads. Our head can be a wonderful place of imaginations, dreams, and all that kind of stuff, but our head can also just be completely full of bullshit that keeps us mired in the past, stuck on relationships that don't matter, things like that. We've got to move away from that, right? You and I and everybody else in between. So don't let yourself be mired. If someone has hurt your heart, if a situation has hurt your heart, you can't really do a lot about that. You can't make somebody love you. You can't change that rhythm. What you can do, though, is take all that pain and become like an alchemist, right? I'm going to do a series on alchemy here pretty soon. It's going to be a little coarse, but um, that was completely random segue. But what I'm saying as being an alchemist is take the energy of pain, right? The heartbreak and transmute it into the energy of creativity. You can do that. Your ability to do that. You don't have to be defined by your sorrow. Nobody ever said that. You don't have to be sad for a certain number of days to prove that you're a good person. The gods of love, who are fickle indeed, my dark and lovely soul, are not going to be on their scale. Okay, you've suffered enough, so we're going to put love in your life. Eh. If your heart is broken, put it somewhere else. Be like a Spartan, my dark and lovely soul. Get out of your heart, get out of your mind, get into your body, or get into your career, but don't let that pain define you. Be the alchemist, transform into something greater. I am Lenny Graves. You can find me here at The Lenny Graves on TikTok and YouTube and Dysfunctional Enlightenment on Facebook and Instagram because I like to be complicated. You can always find me for readings and all that kind of good stuff at TheLennyGraves.com. My dark and lovely souls, you guys are amazing. I'm going to go like this. Don't be sad. Get, don't be sad. Get glad. If you guys remember that old commercial, I'll tell you how old you are. But yeah, don't take that sadness. We'll take that sadness and transmute it into something amazing because you're amazing. Talk to you later, my dark and lovely soul.